any sissy girl can use toenail clippers. <laughs> Ooh, 10 uses for a tool. A tool like this is excellent for food prep, especially when you're talking about large fruits such as oranges or maybe possibly even coconuts but you could also use it for butchering animals. And all jokes aside, if these ducks don't start laying some eggs, this is in their future. <laughs> so not only could you use a tool like this to gather tender materials, you could scrape barks off of trees and end up with something kind of like this using the back of the machete or the blade, but the back would be fine, sharp enough, the spine on there is sharp enough to be able to do that, or even the end of it, because this one's got kind of a 90 degree cut on the end there. It's sharp enough that you could scrape in this fashion like that and get yourself some tinder that would end up looking sort of like this. And then in conjunction with a ferro rod, like this big jumbo one right here with a fat wood handle, if you'd like to see the video on how you can make one of these fat wood ferro rods right here, click the link right here. And you can put your fire out with it. So a rough and tough tool like this one is excellent for digging as well. I mean, it's not going to be as efficient, not as fast as a shovel, but it does quite a good job of getting through roots and stuff like that as well. You can turn the machete around if you don't, if you're worried about digging in the dirt and hitting rocks and damaging the blade, you just turn the thin blade, the machete around and you can hack into the dirt all day long and you won't have any damage done to the actual sharp portion of the blade. So, and the back of the blade is thin enough where it will chop, it'll chop through roots. So you can soften up the soil like this like so, and then use the front edge of the blade or your hands or whatever to help dig that hole. And then pretty short, pretty short work of a hole just using machete like this, you get yourself a decent sized hole for whatever reason, if you're trying to dig a Dakota fire hole or, or whatever, make some sort of trap or something, whatever reason you have determined that you need to dig a hole for, this is a pretty solid tool for it. Again, you can get in there and use your hands and do the same thing, but softening the soil, it's, that is hard to dig in with just your hands. This is gonna speed that process up a lot. The length on a tool like this is great for chopping through briars and things that are going to stab you and poke you and cut you. So you can get some distance away from them and get in there and clear that stuff out without having to get in the midst of it. So pretty cool. We're in the middle of a solar eclipse right now and the sun is in our area in North Georgia is going to be covered about 85% and you can see it actually getting darker outside. Might be hard to tell on camera, but it's definitely getting darker. It looks like an evening when it's middle of the day. Camp crafts, carving projects, Pretty simple with a blade like this, especially if you're having to do uh, bigger tasks because of the ability to do something like that and cut a bunch of things to length. If I needed a whole bunch of sticks, you know, let's say this length right here, I could make a whole bunch of them really fast with a tool like this. This is why I wrap some paracord on the, on the back end of the machete blade like that so I can choke up on it, get close to the cutting edge. And then you can use it just like you would just like you would your regular bushcrafting knife or pocket knife or whatever, little push cuts, same exact way, same method. You could do your chest lever 
if you're trying to do bigger material big bigger cuts take off more material same method or you can get really delicate and do really really fine carving and the way that i would do that if i was trying to be really precise is you could put you could put your your tip of your machete on the ground or on a log or stump or something like that and then you could pull the stick get really fine shavings right there let's say you're trying to make a uh, feather stick or something to help get your fire started this would be the way that i would do that very steady very secure and very safe actually to cut like this to carve this way Self-defense is another one. A tool like this is a formidable weapon. You would not want to be near anybody wielding something like this. Just a simple X pattern like that and walking forward is a very, very scary thing. Nobody's going to want to be close to you holding something like that. A tool like this is also excellent for making other tools. Maybe I need a mallet so I can drive stakes or something like that. Maybe I want to create a bow, a bow and arrow. This is a hickory stave that I cut well over a year ago, almost two years ago now. It's good seasoned and dry, and I can slowly start chipping away at this thing and shaping it the way that I want with my machete. And that's another reason why I like to choke up on the machete like that, so I have a little bit more control. You don't have to, but it does help. So even with as rusty and kind of patinaed as this blade is, it is still shiny and you could use this. I could, I could polish this up quite a bit more and use it as some sort of signaling device in an emergency situation if I had nothing else. Obviously there's better ways to do that, but if I had nothing else, I could use a shiny piece of steel like this to reflect the sun's rays and signal to somebody in the distance. <laughs> no. I was going to pick one tool to build some sort of survival shelter or even a, a longer term type shelter that I was going to be staying in for multiple nights. <laughs> this would definitely be it because it's just the fastest. Maybe in the winter time, perhaps with frozen wood and things like that that you have to deal with, an axe might be better. But I'd say three quarters of the year, maybe more, this is going to be faster. It's going to be speedier. It slices through small pieces of wood much, much more efficiently. And I could build myself a really, really nice shelter in a fairly reasonably short period of time with a tool like this. I could build a shelter without a tool at all with just my bare hands, but it takes significantly longer and the end result is never going to be quite as good as if you have something like that. Hygiene, basic foot care, clipping the toenails. Nobody likes a hangnail. Nobody wants the long toenail that gets caught on something and bent backwards. So you got to stay on top of these things and I prefer the machete. Any sissy girl can use toenail clippers, but it takes a real man to take care of business with the machete. And just like Crocodile Dundee, I could take care of some uh, much needed grooming with the machete. <laughs> I don't think it's quite sharp enough for that. I could get it that sharp, but it's not there right now. A hunting and skinning tool definitely could be used for that. Uh, I have. Maybe, maybe I have, maybe I have not attempted to smoke an animal out of a hole and perhaps dispatch it with a tool like this. And then the skinning process, after the fact, you could definitely take an animal from start to finish, from beginning to freezer with this tool right here. Right, kitty? She would make some nice mittens. <laughs> so warm.